Hey, who turned off the lights? Wait. I remember this. Don your favorite armor set and pick up those pillowcases, because Halloween is upon us in Fusion Fall Retro. With this spectacularly spooky holiday comes both some temporary and permanent additions to Fusion Fall. In this video, I'll detail some new things we added in video form. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. That's right, just like the Halloween event back in the original game, the entire world of Fusion Fall has been plunged into nighttime. This is merely an aesthetic change, however it does look really cool. Similarly, a new Halloween ambient noise can be heard in the background. This includes crickets chirping and some creepy laughs. But that's not all in terms of audio. Thanks to Pan Man and some new developments, there's a new original music track being played throughout the world. This is the first music track in Fusion Ball Retro that was not present in the original game. Here's a snippet. You might also notice that Fusion Matter collected in your Nanocom will tint orange, in the spirit of the holidays. The Hello Quick Chat command has also been changed to say, Happy Halloween, in order to show off that Halloween spirit. Now on to the real meat and potatoes of the event. The gazebo in Spooky Oaks, yes it's actually called Spooky Oaks now, is the main hub for the event. Here you can find everyone's favorite Halloween NPC, Dracula. He sells pumpkin crates for a large sum of taros, which contain plenty of exclusive and rare items. These items include the unreleased Big Chill set, the Chiroof set, the Threadbare, Frayed, Faded, and Time Worn Ancestral sets, the Webhead, and the Big Chill Bubblehead. You can also get some other non-exclusive items, such as the Fred Fred Burger Mask, the Evil Clown Mask, the Brainstorm Helmet, and much more. If Dracula's prices are too much for you, you can also grind for the crates through normal mobs. However, you can only get them from monsters around your level, in order to prevent higher level players from hogging all of the lower level monsters. They're also relatively rare, so buying them seems like the best bet, even with Dracula's exorbitant prices. Also, kind of randomly, Fred Fred Burger just appeared. We're not really sure why or how he got here, but he seems to be the reason why the world is experiencing eternal night. He also has a brand new texture and voice clips. Take a listen. Hey, guess what? I can fit two fingers in my belly button, but I wasn't finished. I can spell my name real good. F-R-E-D-F-R-E-D-B-U-R. Yes. Finally, any owners of the Hollow Suit can now find that it has a spooky skeleton design. If you don't have a Hollow Suit, they're free at every major hub, including the gazebo. And as a fun little bonus, your guide will also comment on the fact that the event's going on every time you log in. Even Computerist, although this is a past exclusive event. And that's it for the Halloween updates. We did add some extra fixes too, including F10 now hiding your UI, Cuts and Bruises Skate Park now has its background music, some items, such as the Mitch Rocks T, no longer exclusively drop within fusion layers, and Thromnambular has new voice clips, and he sounds pretty hip. Anyway, that's all for today. How are you enjoying this event, and did you like the format of this video? Let me know in the comments. As always, likes are appreciated, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified on all videos just like this. As always, if you turn on notifications and tell me in the comments, I will shout out a lucky commenter. So today, thank you Joe Sean Vera for turning on notifications. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!